Hey boo, I'm back with another video and today we're going to be doing some French tips, but this time we're actually going to be hand painting all of our small lines. So I did not push her cuticles back and instead I'm going in with this cuticle bit to start to remove all of that dead skin. And then I'll be going in with my sand and band to remove the dead skin off of the remaining nail plate. client wanted a very nice sharp square so we're going to be using these no c curve square tips i got from amazon and i kid you guys not you do not have to shape these nails at all nail glue does dry very fast so i'm only going to apply a small line of glue on the free edge and then apply the nail tip so you guys see that i'm making sure it fits before i apply it Now these nail tips are already cut down so I'm going back in with that sanding band and I'm going to lightly start to blend the natural nail in with the nail tip. Now you do want to be gentle as you're doing this and you also don't want to stay in the same spot because you'll possibly cause a heat spike and that's not what we want. See that a lot of nail techs use these nail tips and don't shape them at all and pretty much just go right into the application. You are going to see me kind of lightly file the sidewalls but you really don't need to. I just wanted to make sure it was extra sharp. Like I said, you can save a lot of time by not shaping these and a lot of time period by using pre-shaped nail tips. So that's why I prefer to use them. I did already dust her hands off and we're now going to apply this dehydrator. Afterwards, I'll be using my Young Nails Protein Bond and then one coat of my No Lift Primer. The color I'm using today is a custom and a recent short that I posted. I posted these hot pink acrylic toes that I did on myself where I also kind of showed how I made the color. It's just clear in a hot pink glow in the dark powder. I will leave the powder down below if you guys are interested and I'll also leave the short up there if you guys want to see my toes. So at first I was a little nervous about this color because I really did not want it to be runny but I did just use clear acrylic so I had to stop stressing that out. So this is how the color came out. It looks really really good and as always I did apply a small bead of clear acrylic to her natural nail before I started my application. As stated before, this was a custom mix so the consistency was not all the way there. I also did not measure how much glow powder I put into the clear acrylic. So as I'm applying this acrylic powder, you guys are going to see that more towards the free edge of the nail, it gets very, very see-through, almost as if I was doing an ombre nail, but that's just how it came out. You can definitely see it here towards the bottom of the nail. It just looks see-through, but it's still very pretty, and I knew I was going to go over these nails with the white for the French tip. But me personally, I would still wear this color even if the bottom was looking like that because I think it looked real good.
we'll be doing the same thing for the rest of the nails and then afterwards i'll be doing all of my designs on top of the nail she did want to just keep these real simple today and stick with a basic french tip This client I'm actually very close with and she probably has multiple of her nails on my YouTube channel. She's been coming to me for three years now and every time she comes, she'll ask me like, oh honey, you know, how's your love life? Like she's very sweet. So I'm just telling her like a little bit about what's going on with me and you know, just little things like that. And she's so sweet, but she's so funny. Like she's like, wow, sweetie, every time it's just, it keeps getting worse and worse. And we were cracking up. Well, I was cracking up because she just doesn't understand that she's so funny. And I know she don't mean no harm, but she was, she was right. So I was just like, girl. I really do appreciate her a lot because when I was first starting, I would ask her like, hey, can you please come and like, you know, get it set? It'll be discounted by a lot. I just really want to try something. And she's always been very open to trying new things. And we just give back to each other. Like I did that for her a couple times where, you know, I probably discounted the set by a lot thinking they wasn't going to come out good and they did. And then maybe an appointment later, she'll come and bring me like a bag or a gift or multiple bags, a fanny pack. Like we just have that relationship and I really do appreciate her and I appreciate all of my clients. This color looks so good, y'all. I really wish she would have got some acrylic toes to match because I think that would have been amazing. And ever since I posted these hot pink acrylic toes I got on right now, all of my clients been wanting glow in the dark toes. So you guys might want to get into putting a little bit of glow powder in your acrylic so you guys could upcharge for if they want glow in the dark nails or glow in the dark toes. Now, talking about the thumb application, I'm sure many, many beginners were a little nervous at first when it comes to actually applying that acrylic on the thumbnail, but look, do not be nervous. For the most part, I recommend practicing on yourself. I know the thumb is larger, so it can be a little nerve wracking, but one day you might run into a client that naturally has larger nail beds and now you're sitting there like, you know what? this. This is great. And it's happened to me before and now I'm much, much, much more comfortable with doing any size nail plate, any size nail but however you wanna state it. I'm much more comfortable now, but back then I was really, really nervous. So when I did get clients that naturally had larger nail beds, 
they wouldn't always come out the same and I would often be really, really disappointed with what I did. But as I continue to practice and these clients actually came back because they liked my work, it looks completely different now and I'm very happy that I just continue to practice. And I also was practicing using the thumb on that brown practice hand because that thumbnail is huge. So I definitely recommend practicing on that too. And I'll leave that practice hand down below if you're not really too sure what I'm talking about. Now we have to reshape these nails so I'm first going to start with the cuticle area using this 5 and one bit and the thing I really really like about that cuticle bit is that it's a safety bit and it's extremely beginner friendly. I'm sure I've said that in every video because it's a 10 out of 10. So once I was finished with sealing the cuticle area I did go ahead and start to reshape these nails using my 8080 grit file and I also filed the surface of these nails as well as underneath the side walls to make sure everything is nice and clean.
Now, before I start to apply my gel polish, I am going to go ahead and top coat these nails. Allow this top coat to cure for 60 seconds, and then I'll be going in with some white gel polish for the French tip. So for painting these French tips, I do like to outline the nail first, then create the straight line at the bottom and then connect the two with a smile line. I do apologize if the camera is slightly going out of angle. I was trying to make sure that I got the best angle as possible when I was doing this because I know I've never posted this before. But if you guys made it to this part of the video, feel free to comment down below some pink hearts so that people that didn't make it to this part of the video don't know what's going on in the comments. This white gel polish is from D&D and I'm also using these art brushes from Amazon so I will be linking everything down below and here I'm just starting to be a little bit of a perfectionist trying to make sure these look really good and afterwards I'm going to let her cure this nail for 60 seconds and I'll work on the other hand. Here was a much, much better angle, but I do want to let you guys know that when you're hand painting French tips, your nails have to be smooth. There were times I was trying to hand paint these French tips, not these specifically, but there was just times I tried to achieve that look and the nail was a little bumpy on the side, so it would start to mess up and then I would have to pretty much wipe the nail off, go back, reshape it, then continue so that the application of the paint is still smooth.
look at the cuticle area on the stem y'all that right there looks amazing but once i'm finished i am gonna lastly do one more coat of this white gel polish you never just want to do one because it may be a little see-through in some places so make sure you apply two as if you was painting a full nail after painting these nails i will have to top coat these nails one more time because that white gel polish is sticky so i'll be allowing that to cure for 60 seconds and then apply my cuticle oil and i'm also going to let you guys see the final look so I am about to wrap these up. I do really appreciate you guys for fully watching this video until the end. And if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'm going to see you in the next video.